Hello, we are here. So are you. Today, and also animals, we want to respect animals, but avoid hurting them unnecessarily. But it's also important to see that why animals do not belong as pets in people's houses. What kinds of wild animals could have homes in your backyard? Think about food, water, shelter, and space. We can help wild animals by making sure they have access to the habitat they need. It will be a wonderful world if all people show love and respect for animal life. Unfortunately, our animal friends don't always get the high regard they deserve, as evidenced by the reports of animal abuse and cruelty that frequently make the news. Because of healthy respect for animal life is learned at early age, it's important to know how to teach children to have respect for animal life and welfare. Open your student book on page 89. Can you see the woman? Let's talk about her. Respect animals. Jane Goodell is a scientist who studies chimpanzees in the wild. She began her career in 1960 in Tanzania, a country in East Africa. She observed that chimpanzees, like humans, have families communicate in ways that include hugging, use tools, and hunting groups. Goodell's research into chimpanzee behavior has helped scientists better understand human beings. In 1977, Goodell established the Jane Goodell Institute. It is dedicated to the well-being of living things. How can we respect animals? Look at the pictures. Read some of her posts. You ready? We should have respect for animals because they make better human beings of all of us. What you do makes a difference, and you have to decide what kind of difference you want to make. Arguably, we are the most intelligent creatures that ever walk on planet Earth. So how come, then, that this so intellectual being is destroying its only home? The least I can do is speak out for those who cannot speak for themselves. Hello, guys. So, what do you think about these quotes? Please think about it. Now, take out your workbook on page 68. Let's read about camels are cool. Camels are awesome animals. They are big and strong and live to be 40 to 50 years old. They live in very, very hot in dry places. Bactrian camels live in rocky deserts in Asia. Arabian camels live in sandy deserts in north of Africa. Bactrian camels have two homes, but Arabian camels have just one home. All camels can go without food and water for a long time. Their homes help them do this. Camels have three eyelids on each eye and two sets of long eyelashes too. Okay, now let's do the exercise. It says, match the sentences, parts, draw lines. As you can see, we have different sentences. Let's read them. Number one, camels live to be. Number two, Camels live. Number three, camels can have. And number four, camels have three. And then we have different options. Option A, eyelids on each eye. Option B, one or two humps. Option C, in very hot and dry places. Option D, 40 to 50 years old. 
Let's do number one as example. Number one, camels live to be 40 to 50 years old. Now you can work by yourself. Hello guys, I'm teacher Caro. Let's continue with our class. This is exercise 15. In this exercise, we have a ring about Lisa's favorite animal. Let's read what Lisa says. My favorite animal is a kangaroo. It is a big animal with a long tail and strong legs. It can hop and jump. It can't walk or run. It has a pocket for a baby kangaroo. Lisa. Now let's go to exercise 16. Here you have to write about your favorite animal. You're going to answer these three questions. Number one, what is your favorite animal? Number two, describe your favorite animal. And number three, what can your favorite animal do? Now guys, I'm going to explain you your homework. Your homework is going to be the next exercise, X exercise 17. This is your homework and here you have to write a paragraph with the answers of the last exercise. With these answers, you're going to write a paragraph here. Okay, if you get a little stuck, you can use exercise 15 as an example of how you gotta write it. Guess what, guys? This is the end of our online lessons. We hope you really enjoy each one of our lessons and of course that you learn a lot of new things. Teacher George, Teacher Humberto and Teacher Carol, we send you a big big hug to all of you. Hoping we'll see our great students soon because all of you are so intelligent, smart and awesome students. Now it's time for us to end this online lessons. Hope you all guys are staying home. Remember, stay home, stay safe, and save lives. See you soon, guys, maybe in level three. We'll never know. Bye, guys!